<laughs> Let's get into the Washington football okay, team. Here we go. Ron Rivera. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this draft class. And, of course, it all kicked off with the first pick at 19. Which I hated. Jamin Davis, oh, a linebacker out of Kentucky. <laughs> it's been by far the most panned pick I've seen across every site. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it got way better. Uh, they went Jamin Davis, and and then I think they tied Daniel Snyder to a chair and went, uh, the big boys are drafting now. <laughs> yeah. The, the adults are drafting now, uh, Mr. Snyder. It's time for you to shut the fuck up. Right. Because I feel off. like he sent that card in of his own volition, and Ron Rivera went, no, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. oh wait. But I, now I will say, I, and I have, to, I have to say this about Jamin Davis, the comp to on, on Thomas Davis. I get it. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with it, but I get it. Because I don't think his instincts are ever going to be that good. Here's the other thing I don't think people are thinking about with Jamin Davis. There's not a lot of there were not a lot of linebackers in this class. Very few fit what they wanted to do. He doesn't have to be great because mm -hmm. he's got a lot of players around him. Because his defense is stacked, mm -hmm. and that was bar none their worst pick. Basically everything they did from there, home run, oh, yeah. double single that could have been legged into a double. Another home run. <laughs> I mean, the, the back end of the... The leadoff hitter was not great. Yep. The rest of the order was raking. And there's no doubt about it. Sam Cosme, the tackle uh -huh. going in the second round, was a great pick for yep. them. Immediate day one starter. Yep. yep. Benjamin St. Juice, cornerback uh, out of Minnesota. Immediate day one starter. Uh, Deami Brown, oh, wide receiver God. out of North Carolina, also in the third round. Anybody want to guess what I'm getting ready to say? Immediate <laughs> starter. They, the, those, the Deami Brown draft pick, I think, was what I uh, liked a lot because you had a, a plethora of okay receivers behind F1 and Curtis Samuel. Yep. You know, you had you had the Sims. I don't Steve think they're Sims. even brothers, Cam yeah. Sims and Steve Sims. Um, Deami Brown is someone who can play outside and inside, and they just added another weapon. And I think that's going to open up so much for all the other guys on this team. They're freaking sick. They're, yeah. they're so sick. And it was something I was saying I was going to be worried about with Fitzpatrick. Are they going to have enough talent around him for him to actually do what Fitzpatrick does well and not have to force balls in and try to do too much? It's always bad when you force balls in. Yeah. <laughs> it's never this good. Is, this is going to – this team is freaking unbelievably scary. And – I. They're def to me. They're definitely the best team in this division, and they're one of the best teams in the entire conference. Yeah, the versatility on offense is going to be great. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be great to see this year with this team. Uh, I mean, I I look at Benjamin St. Juice as one of my favorite picks of the draft. Yeah, long corner with great instincts, mm -hmm. and then the the two seventh rounders, Shaka Tony and Dax Milne. Right. I yep. think they both make the I think they both make the roster. Yeah, killed it. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think they both make the roster. They did a great job. It was a, a it, had it not been Jamin Davis in the first round, I'm, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to say the same thing about the Washington football team I said about your team. Uh -huh. If they had taken Sam Cosme at 19 and taken Jamin Davis with the second rounder at yeah. 19, yep. hey, no problems. And, and that's uh, the bad thing is the ends justified the means. I just don't like that you took him that high. And I don't like the player, but of all places he could have gone, and I said this on draft night. There's no place he's going to be asked to do less, and he's going to be in a better situation to do more than Washington. The, one, the biggest problem I had with that team last year was that they couldn't, they couldn't be as efficient on offense as their defense is. <laughs> and now I feel like they have done enough to bring the offense kind of up toward the defensive level. They're by no means an even team across both, uh, both sides of the ball. But they just got a lot better. Yeah. And I have no doubts that they will be uh, the, you know, they'll be the front runners in this division all year. Uh, 